Okay guys, so for this look, I'm gonna be using the shade Define Me from the Morphe 39A palette, which is the Dare to Create. And I'm gonna be packing this to my crease and the outer corner, and I'm slowly gonna be blending that out just because I did not set my eyelids with any powder. As you can see here, I am just packing some more of that shadow on just because it did kind of like fall out once I was blending but I'm gonna just be adding some until I get my desired pigmentation. Taking the Tarte Shade Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand, I'm going to be using this to cut my crease halfway, and I'm just going to be filling that up with a concealer and then I'm going to be blending that out. Now I'm going to be taking some white eyeshadow. This is the white shadow from the Morphe 35B and I'm just going to be packing this on to where we just applied that concealer. You could also use um, translucent powder if you do not have a white eyeshadow. Now I'm just going to be going back in with the shade Define Me just to kind of blend out those edges and I will be going back and forth with adding white and then adding more of the Define Me just so it could be blended out nice, smooth, nice and smoothly. For the lower lash line, I'm just going to be applying the same shade from the 39A palette and just kind of dragging it upwards just to connect those two colors. Now this is optional but I like to apply some inner corner highlight and the highlight I use is from the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit. Now I am just applying some mascara and we'll be back for the final look. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I do only put on mascara sometimes just on my top lashes just because I feel like it makes them look a little bit longer and makes them look kind of fake. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow all my social media that's listed down in the description. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.